I'd like to take a step back, if I may, um, since this is a relatively new committee and um, so my questions aren't as specific, but I'd just like to get a sense of your definition of community. Like, what it does community mean to Pobble? And what does community development mean to Pobble? And um, do you feel that you are succeeding in the community-centred approach? Um, I've been out talking to different members of community. I'm from Tremor County Waterford. I've always been uh, very active in my own local communities. But one uh, thing I'm hearing again and again is the, from the smaller groups who are already fairly embedded in the community. They feel they're kind of buckling under the weight of administration. So they are small um, with ambition. And then, um, and they have the sense that there's a burden and it's time consuming and it's, as they say, they have to go through hoops and loops to um, get um, the support funding. Um, so what can be done to sm support the smaller groups who are developing but who really uh, are wasting almost too much time or losing opportunity because of the burden of administration? To me, the community are our leaders. They're the ones we should be looking to, to, uh, to how we develop our programs. And they shouldn't have a sense that they're being told, now this is what we want from you, and, and don't be exercising too much creativity because that doesn't work to us. Okay, uh, thanks very much, Senator. Um, in, in terms of how we, how, how we see community from a public perspective, um, like we, we, see, we see community as uh, every town, town and town, village and city across, across the country, but we have a particular lens. Our lens looks at it through social inclusion, looks at it through e e equality, looks at it through where, where are the areas of greatest disadvantage and where the resources that when we, when we work with government in terms of how they need to be targeted at, at, those, at, at those particular areas through that, through that uh, particular, particular lens. So we, while some of the programmes may have a, uh, a more universal element to it, I think most of our programmes will have, have a targeted element in terms of uh, supporting people that need those, need those supports to have a better quality of life in terms of engagement with, uh, their, 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 with society and also in taking into, into, into account the, uh, the, the broader uh, issues that, that, peop that people have. In terms, of, in terms of community development, and it goes to your la latter point as well, in terms of community development, it is very much a, a bottom-up approach. It's, from, it's, from, it's from, the, from the local that the needs are, needs are identified, that the plans then are worked, worked through in terms of responding uh, to, those, to those needs. And it's, it's fair to say we struggle at times, and that's our definition of community development, but we, we struggle at times in terms of defining or working through the, through the programmes in terms of how they might match that in the most effective way. Because there's also there's a clear requirement as well in terms of the accountability. Accountability for the, the, the funding, the, the taxpayers' money that's, that's spent in each of, each, of, each, of the, each of the areas. And trying to get that match at times can be, can be, can be difficult uh, uh, in terms of ensuring that we're Going back to your point in terms of the creativity of people, or the people that have an innovation in terms of responding to the local needs, and because it doesn't fit that particular box, then there isn't the scope perhaps to get to get, to get it funded or to to work, work work through it. And I think that's one of the key challenges for us in the over the course of our next strategic plan over the next next few years, in terms of matching that in a in a, in a better way. But we are also constrained. In terms of the, 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 the law, you know, in terms of what's there, in terms of data, data protection, in terms of pu public accountability through the to the monies that are monies that are that are spent, and all the various circulars in terms of how that needs that, how that needs to be accounted for. And I think that's I, I said it in my statement that Pubble ev has evolved over a number of years. I think we have further to evolve in terms of how we truly respond to those things that are emerging from from uh, from communities. And if I, uh, just in terms of our own staffing, for example. Uh, a good percentage of our staff come from community development. A good percentage of our staff have worked on the on the ground, uh, on the ground across the, the every every parish in the in the in the in the country. So they 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 know the they know the issues that are involved. And I suppose it's ju it's just uh, working through that that, that, that frustrations that I know that people at times have with us in terms of the uh, defined very defined ways that we expect people to to, uh, to to account. So I might just hand over to my colleague then in terms of the professional development and the early. Early years piece.